Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Sag? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are staying safe. Let's get into your reading in regards to love and romance for the month of December 2020. Your first card here is the Magician card. Second card, wow, Ace of Wands. So there is definitely new beginnings for you guys. Um, you are definitely being connected or attracted to an individual that uh, you may feel uh, this magnetic pull towards them uh, with the Magician and the Ace of Wands. Passionate, very intense. There is something that, uh, you know, attracts you to them, um, and it's magnetic. It's uh, it's on a whole different level. Now, for some of you guys, this could be a new person coming in, while for others, you already know specifically who they're talking about at this present time. Uh, the Magician and the Ace of Wands speaks about uh, a connection that has already been built or a connection that recently happened. So again, you're definitely, wow. Okay, Sagittarians, you guys are definitely starting off very, very potent. I want to say, um, I think this is the only reading where there is two aces uh, in, in all the signs. Uh, you're getting two aces. So there there's major changes coming for you guys. Um, and these are how you're viewing the partner or your person of interest. And your next card is the Page of Cups. So yeah. I definitely see new love for you guys. Those of you guys that have been single, that's not going to be an issue anymore. Uh, the Magician, its they're making themselves known to you with the Ace of Wands, passion, desire being ignited. Ace of Swords, communication coming through. Communication in regards to the Page of Cups, in regards to emotions. Um, this could be an individual reaching out to you or wanting to get your attention. This could be um, meeting the person in December. Very, very strong magnetic attraction. <clears throat> now, how the person is viewing the situation or how they're viewing you at the present time, Four of Swords. So for some of you guys, it could have been a situation with the Magician and the Ace of Wands. This is definitely newness, but I feel that for some of you guys, this could have been a connection that happened, um, that happened already for some. And it could have been a, a almost like um, trying to get it off the ground, but certain type of energies became involved. I'm hearing other people got involved with the Four of Swords. Um, they're definitely wanting to hear from you, Sagittarius. They are either waiting for that text, waiting for that communication to happen. With the Page of Cups here, though, I feel that for some of you guys, you you definitely feel this connection. You feel this attraction, like just magnetic attraction, and it's scaring the shit out of you. With the Page of Cups here and the Magician, it's like something hasn't completely got off the ground. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you are, you're definitely feeling this connection, but I feel that for some of you guys, you're too much in your head. There may be fears coming up in regards to this connection. Now, I did hear initially that other people got involved. So for some of you guys, it could have been that um, people were giving you information, perhaps not necessarily honest, truthful information in regards to this person that kind of shied you away from the situation, or you got a lot of things happening right now. Uh, now this could represent that you just got kind of busy and the communication kind of, it just stopped. Now I'm going to pull out more cards. We have the full card. Yeah. I feel that there was like some type of beginning that didn't really fully manifest for you guys. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords, the Fool card, the Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. This is how they're viewing the situation, Sagittarius. I feel that they definitely acknowledge the fact of this connection. Uh, with the Four of Swords, there's a lot of anxiousness. There is wanting to hear from you with the Fool card um, going towards a new beginning, but also really thinking about what went wrong in this communication or in this connection. Um, with the Five of Pentacles, I feel that they are the ones that are feeling like they were either rejected or like you weren't that interested. Although up here, I definitely see a pull, like very magnetic, very strong attraction. And I feel with the Page of Cups, um, I feel that... Uh, this is like highlighting certain fears that started to come up for you, Sagittarius. Um, 
with the seven of swords, I feel you're not, you're refusing to be completely honest with yourself in regards to what you feel towards this person. Uh, page of cups is emotions. It is declaration or communication coming through with the seven of swords. I feel that you're not being honest or you're not trying to embrace or you're scared as to acknowledge this connection. Now, with the Ace of Swords, this is a new beginning. And what they're telling you is there needs to be some type of communication to open up. I feel that they on the receiving end are feeling like you weren't at, as interested or uh, there was some type of like just, just completely. It could have been that you ghosted them. It could have been that you just didn't continue the conversation or communication but with the Ace of Swords, I see you really wanting to communicate. It's almost like you guys are both waiting to hear from each other. But I feel that you guys definitely pulled away because of this connection. You have two Aces and the Magician. Like these are three, three energies that are screaming at you. There is a new beginning coming. And there is a connection that is being manifested for you. Do not run away from this connection. For some of you guys, this, this could even be like a, a deep spiritual connection. The magician, ace of wands, ace of swords. You may be dealing with an Aries. You may also be dealing with uh, the element of air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, uh, pentacles, earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, water as well. Yeah, what they're telling me here is, now, for those of you guys that are in a serious, committed relationship, I feel that there's been some type of halt in this relationship or in this partnership. There are certain things that you need to address um, in order to continue either pursuing the connection, the relationship, or the betterment of the relationship as a whole. Uh, with the Four of Swords, there is restrictions here in regards to being completely honest towards one another. The full card represents someone is being foolish in this situation. Um, you're kind of guarding yourself or your partner is guarding themselves. Um, there could be some type of withholding of information. I don't feel that there's, um, there's like any sneakiness going on. I feel that it has more to do with how do we address or... How do we talk about what's really bothering us at this point in time in our relationship? It could be because you've been married for 10, 15 years. And there is almost like someone in this relationship is feeling like they're not being acknowledged anymore in the relationship. Like they're not, their partner is not putting effort in this relationship. And some of you guys may actually be dealing with, with doubts, with fears of are they talking to someone? Are they dealing with someone else? The Seven of Swords usually indicates um, sneakiness, right? Not being completely honest or transparent, um, lying, deceiving. But I feel that underneath the Page of Cups, what they're saying here is you're not being honest with either your emotions or you're not, or your partners are not being honest with their emotions and their intention or intentions towards you. Um, but I definitely see a new cycle coming in. For some of you guys, it could be renewed type of energy. It could be that you've been dealing with this for quite a while where there is a feeling of like disconnection. There's a feeling of, <coughs> excuse me, there's a feeling of lack of intensity, lack of passion in the relationship. But I feel that this is, it's passing. So what I mean by that is, again, we have two aces here and the magician card. There is some type of, energy of renewal energy where it's almost like a revamp of the relationship now for those that are or have been dealing with a specific individual or a specific person and there hasn't been any communication i feel that for some it could be that they themselves are feeling like you weren't giving them time you weren't really putting giving them attention um but there is definitely some, there's definitely a deep connection here. Uh, now, for those of you guys that are single, definitely new love coming in for you guys. In this month of December, by the end of December, you're going to know exactly who this reading is talking about. Because I feel like you can't ignore this type of energy. This is major energy. 
Uh, and it's like very magnetic. It's kind of like a situation where you walk in a place, you lock eyes with someone and you, you guys can seem to stop looking at each other. It's like that intense with the Ace of Wands here and the magician. It's like very intense, passionate connection. Um, even lusting after the person, like just by meeting them the first time. So again, it's something that you're not going to be able to ignore Sagittarius. Now, if you have been dealing with a situation where you were dealing with a specific person, you felt the intensity of this connection, you felt um, you felt like you couldn't really deny, or perhaps for some of you guys, even you've never experienced this type of connection. Do not run away from this connection because with the Four of Swords and the Fool card, it's like you're being the fool if you take or, or, or go back and take your energy back out of fear with the Five of Pentacles. It's like, don't be the fool and walk away from someone or from a connection because of fears that you may not be able to um, that you may not be able to provide for them the stability that they're looking for. And these are assumptions. Th these are things that are in your head. For some of you guys, this could be insecurities. You may be dealing with a person with the magician, the ace of wands, and the ace of swords. You may be dealing with an individual that is very, like their personality comes off very strong. Like they know what they want. They're not about the BS. They're not about, you know, dealing with shenanigans. And there may be some insecurities coming up for you where you feel like, you know, I feel this connection, I feel this intensity, but, but, you know what I mean? Like there's buts there, but, but maybe I'm not able to give them the stability they're looking for. But maybe it's just something that started very intense and it's going to come quickly to an end. Or am I just, you know. Are they just being, you see in this deck, she's holding an apple. So that's temptation. And you can see a person in the background over here. So it could be almost a feeling like maybe in the past you've been hurt and you don't want to go through that anymore. And you can't deny this connection, but at the same time, you're too scared to let your guard down. And what they're telling you here is, don't be the fool. Don't run away from this connection because of insecurities. Don't make assumptions, especially if you're in the beginning stages of getting to know each other with the Page of Cups. You may be missing out on something that is going to bring not only stability, but emotional fulfillment for you, Sagittarius. What is it that you're really running away from? Okay, let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you in regards to this situation. Spirit, what is the direct message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regard? Oof. Okay, we got two cards. Oh, no, we got three cards here. We have community. Okay. You may actually meet this person. Um, this person may be introduced to you through friends, family members, relatives. Uh, you could have met this person through a celebratory type of energy. It could have been uh, a small social gathering. It could have been a, a small party. Um, definitely, like, people around you could have been the ones to initiate this connection, and it could have been accidental. Um, so it could have been, like, that they invited you somewhere and you met this person, or they invite you and you will be meeting someone. We have deceit here. So with community and deceit, they did initially tell me in the beginning that people got involved in this connection. So we have three here, right? This is community. But this, is, this can also represent friends. This can represent uh, people around you that are influencing this connection. Deceit, I feel that Someone may be giving you advice or may be giving you some type of insight in regards to this individual. 
but I feel that they're not being completely honest or completely transparent. I feel that their intentions uh, may be double intentions. They may actually be jealous of this connection. For others, it could just represent that if it's a male, right, and you're a male and you're dealing with the female, it could be that that male is actually wanting or desiring or interested in this person or vice versa. Uh, and the next card is the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. You can see that there. I felt off the bat, you guys, and I'm going to be honest with you. I felt off the bat like this is a very strong connection. And although I don't see highly spiritual cards other than the magician, I feel that this is a spiritual connection. This is a person that is supposed to come into your life because there is a purpose here. And with the <clears throat> sixth chakra card, you can see the angel here. I feel that this is perfect timing. This is like it's not an accident that you met this person or it's not going to be an accident that you meet this person. I feel that this was divinely orchestrated for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. It could have been a situation where <clears throat> you've been single for a while because you've been through major, major difficulties when it comes to partnerships. You could have got out of a toxic situation where it tested you in every way. And I feel that this connection is coming through for you guys because there is a higher purpose. When I hear higher purpose, it doesn't indicate a, a meeting of souls that is coincidental or that is accidental. It is something that is divinely orchestrated to enter your life at a specific time, specific point in your life to transform you. So again, if you see this unfold, do not run away from this connection. I feel that you would really be doing yourself a disservice, especially if you get too much in your head and you allow your fears to take over. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity and insight, and I wish you guys the very best. Happy Holidays. I wish you guys all the best. Hope you guys stay safe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.